Sorry, uh, can anybody see my slide? Yes, 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 can. All right, yes, okay. Yes, can. All right. Okay, first thing is, uh, I'm really sorry uh, if there's some background, a noise background from from me, because now I'm in uh, my hometown, in my village. So the the house is quite, it's a wooden house. So although in, in the room, so we can hear uh, people make noise from the room, actually. Okay, I think... Okay, so we can we start now? I think most of them are already joined the Dota Office session. Okay, all right. Okay, so for the academic matters of uh, postgraduate research college of engineering so my name is uh, abdul malik um, abdul wahab sorry i can uh, i can uh, show the camera because i'm using my mobile data so if i show the camera it will be disturbed uh, the presentation so i'm actually the new coordinator research program of postgraduate studies uh, I've been the coordinator research for, I think, five months. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, five or, five or six months uh, as the coordinator. So a lot of things I need to learn. Right. So this one uh, has been uh, mentioned by Dr. Sheila for the postgraduate team. Okay. So the outline of the briefing is first is about the fees and financial matters registration, the terms, the major milestones, and supervision of research students. Okay, fees and financial matters. Uh, sorry, uh, for fees and payment semester actually for October uh, 2023 to uh, February 2023. Um, apologize me for this uh, wrong uh, typing. Okay, students are required to pay tuition fees in the time stipulated for every semester. Uh, if not, uh, student will get Gugur Taraf, GT. Okay, and any candidate who did not pay the tuition fee will not be allowed to sit the examination or this dissertation will not be graded. So this one also have been mentioned by Dr. Sheila, the, the last date for tuition fees is 23rd November 2023. This is the poster. And this one also has been mentioned by Dr. Sheila about the fee deferment and about the UPTA. Okay. And about the graduate excellence program. Okay. We have in UITM before this, we have a UITM, UITM endowment scholarship. But now from the website is closed. So uh, the opening it uh, during the last semester. Uh, this one we're not sure when uh, the endowment will be open. Okay. And this one is postgraduate bursary. All the information that you need to know for the bursary for the payment. Okay. All right, so we go to registration. All right, so new student registration have been mentioned by Dr. Sheila. Okay, so we go to uh, how we do the registration for first for returning student registration. So all the students need to log in to iStudent portal. 
okay and complete all the resufo resufo uh, and then student register online through uh, e academic system on the i student portal link and students need to generate a bill through a bill uh, through the student financial service via i student portal so meaning that for return, uh, returning students uh, you need to register in i student portal okay i think um, uh, for my uh, presentation you can maybe if they have any question i will try to ask uh, directly okay so this is for returning student but there's uh, some student that already submitted their thesis okay for submit a uh, uh, student who already submitted their thesis okay for registration they need do it uh, manually meaning that they need to um submit um okay wait eh? okay so we don't have so they need to submit the form manually to pg office and then from that we will process the um uh, registration because uh, why we do it manually because we need to uh, adjust the fees for students who already submitted their thesis um, before at the end of the semester for the next semester they will get uh, like a reduction of the fees to 50 ringgit for activation only okay so we go to uh, registration for returning student okay so online for active and ck and tg so all this the link actually now you can just uh, find uh, the ipsis everything will be there okay and then registration for returning students manual for rmtp and after viva only so this is what i, what I, I mean by that okay for uh, sorry, this one is uh, after Viva. So this one, uh, you need to uh, do it manually <clears throat> and can download the form uh, from this uh, link. Actually, it's from uh, Ipsys uh, website. Okay, so it's about the registration. Okay, there's two conditions of registration. One is a returning student. Okay, one is a new student. Okay, and another one is a student who already submitted their thesis. So two uh, for new student and returning student, the registration will be online. For student who already submitted their thesis, they need to do the registration uh, manually. Meaning that need to submit their form. Okay, so each of student need to register. Okay, although you have submitted your thesis, whatever you have done, but for the next semester, uh, if your status is not uh, tamat or completed, you still need to uh, register as a student. Okay, because it will activate you as student in the system. Okay, if you not register, uh, they will deactivate your uh, status as student and the system will consider you as a MIA. Okay? So please, uh, whatever condition, uh, either you are a new student, uh, come back student, already passed your DRP, already submitted your thesis, uh, already viva, so you need to register until you get status completed okay so this one the terms so for msc by research okay the duration uh, this one uh, already mentioned by dr sheila okay for the thesis okay i just go straight to the uh to the different uh drp for master okay uh each of uh, program for research program, uh, you need to do DRP. DRP is Defend Research Proposal. So for ma master program, will be six months. 
uh, after the registration okay and then uh, and then for progress report to be submitted every end of the semester okay for the thesis number of words so meaning that when you want to submit your thesis so the words for the thesis is around 2000 20000 to 50000 words for your thesis okay not much uh, more than that okay so and then minimum publication is one index publication and when we go to phd so all the duration got as we mentioned by uh, dr sheila so for drp uh, for phd is within 12 months of registration okay please make uh, the drp early meaning that within the time given by uh, uitm because why because this is the uh, duration that we we plan for the student to to meaning that to to have to show the progress okay because if sometimes during the drp there's uh, there's a comment from the panel so from that you can meaning that uh, you can improve uh, your research so but if uh, your you you do you do your uh, drp very late so i think maybe a lot of um, comment or improvement you cannot do okay so make uh, your drp within all uh, planet or uh, suggested by uitm okay so this is number of uh, this is number of words for phd is 30000 to 100000 uh, no more than that if not, it's very long. Okay, so minimum publication will be two index publication. Okay, with at least one was published as main or corresponding author. So for PhD, you need to have one published, okay, and one accepted. For master, one accepted publication. Okay. All right, so this is one is for academic status. All right, so SM is sedang maju, so research is in progress. Uh, AM is uh, amaran satu, so no research progress. AM is amaran dua, no research progress. If four master will go to D10, meaning that dismiss. Okay, and AM3 is amaran, uh, amaran tiga, no research progress, and for PhD will uh, you will get D10 if you get amaran 3 okay so amaran 1 amaran 2 all the warning amaran is warning so uh, be be careful and i think this one you can avoid it if you follow all the regulation and the timeline that given by UITM and what is D10 D10 is dismissed so one of the main reason why a lot of students got dismissed status because they did not submit progress report. So very important for progress report to be submitted at the end of the um, uh, at the end of the semester. Please, everybody need to uh, submit their progress report. Either they have submitted their thesis. Because usually they said that when you submit a uh, uh, thesis, no need for them to submit uh, their progress reports. No, we need you need to submit progress report. I although you have submitted your thesis, because this is uh, the the progress reports. Uh, we will use this progress report to determine your status. Uh, if you're not submit your progress report, you will get D10, and then D11 dismiss. Uh, this one is exceeded uh, maximum duration of studies uh, when like master for four years if you exceeded more than four years so you will get d uh, d11 but you can uh, make a appeal or write one okay and for the master after uh, after seven years okay uh, you need you still not uh, completed or submitted your thesis 
So you will get uh, D11. Okay, the major milestones. Okay, this, this is the major milestones for master student and also PhD student uh, for research. Okay, so first thing is about the application and registration. Okay, and then appointment of supervisor. You need to do defense of research proposal, DRP. And after the DRP, you work for your research, for your studies. And after a certain time, your supervisor said that, yes, you can submit your thesis. So you need to submit notice of thesis submission. Okay. Sometimes they use uh, LOI. Before this is a letter of intention. But now in the uh, form is NOI, Notice of Intention. All right. Uh, so notice of uh, you submit your notice of intention and then uh, form of appointments of examiners. So for examiners, uh, your supervisor, maybe you can ask your supervisor to choose uh, examiners for you. Okay. And then uh, when all the examiners have been appointed uh, you can submit your thesis for viva and then you done your thesis you got examiners re report sorry sorry thesis submitted for viva and then examiners will um, give the report okay to pg office for the thesis and then the PG office will make a schedule your viva, okay, and you do the viva. After viva, a viva, you need to do your thesis correction, complete thesis correction, format checking, format need to follow the UITM format, and then done. Your name will bring to Senate meeting, okay, and then you get Senate uh, letter saying that you have completed your master or phd and then you will get a convocation okay so all these uh, milestones uh, you need to accomplish it within uh, your time planning for master and phd all right so if you <clears throat> looking for got graded on time so this is the milestones okay for master is uh, 24 out of 36 months for master student for uh, phd 48 out of 60 months uh, for uh, for you to complete it and you will consider as got okay so meaning that uh, for master student you need to do actually drp within six months okay and after that you need uh submitted your notice as a minus and also noi and as a minus nomination after uh 12, 12 months from after that and then you will get the viva and uh three months submitted uh, uh thesis after three months you will have the viva uh, one month for correction and then formatted uh, formatting one month senate and convo so meaning that uh, to consider you got is at the end of senate meeting okay so you need to allow like one semester Okay, we mean that after you submit your thesis, you need to allow about one semester for you to get the Senate, Senate letter. Okay. Right. So this one is uh, about uh, appointment of supervisor. Okay. So the supervisor, function of supervisor to assist and advise the student in the design, development and completion of the research degree program within the stipulated time. The creation and enhancement of an effective supervisory relationship is crucial to the function of a supervisor and in many ways this relationship should be a smart partnership 
premise on a win-win orientation. And from the start, both parties must negotiate and mutually agree on how they will work together. Okay, for nomination, uh, supervisor. So we don't have, uh, before this, we use a form. But uh, starting from uh, actually last semester, the nomination only, you can do your nomination on uptrack, in uptrack. Okay? You nominate uh, your supervisor in uptrack. Okay? But make sure that your supervisor agree or uh, tick agree to the nomination. And then after that, we, we process uh, after that. PG office will process after that. So we'll bring all the names, uh, your supervisor names to the JAPIC and then uh, to the JCAP and JKIPA. So usually in JKAP, the letter of uh, nom uh, the letter of appointment to the supervisor uh, will be issued to your supervisor. Okay, and then at the uptracks, you can see that your supervisor has been uh, your nomination of supervisor have been approved. Okay, if not approved, please uh, contact PG office. Okay, usually if not approved, is only a nominate. If you nominate and still the status is nominate, so you need to ask your supervisor to agree. Sometimes uh, supervisor not aware of that, so you need to ask them to agree to the nomination. Then we can proceed, process the nomination. Okay. Right. So function of supervisor. So this one is uh, announce the due date of progress report. So supervisor need to sign the progress report. Right. Uh, student fill the progress report. Sign it to supervisor. Supervisor need evaluate progress report. Okay. Uh, so cap. KBS will present the stu uh, student progress report for JAPI approval and update student progress in SIM and submit copy of progress report to IPSIS. So this is one of the importance about the supervisor. Okay. Uh, issue for progress report. Okay. So this one is criteria for master degree supervisor. Okay. Okay, so for main supervisor must be appointed among UITM academic staff. So please, if you register with UITM, so for main supervisor, you need nominate UITM staff. And if you uh, register with uh, College of Engineering, so you need nominate your supervisor from the staff of a college of uh, uh, engineering okay you cannot uh, nominate the main supervisor from other faculties okay and then must have a doctoral oh. degree okay where the supervisor has a master degree in the field he or she must have at least five years experience in teaching and research and has co-supervised master candidate this one for SV, uh, which, uh, who do not have a PhD. Okay. Supervisor should not be currently registered as postgraduate student at the university or elsewhere. So this one is important. So make sure that your SV is not an active student. Because some of the staff uh, now, they are student like a PhD student. So you cannot appoint him as your uh, main SV or SO SV. So for co SV can be appointed among UITM academic staff or other institution or industry or practitioners. So it's open for co SV for others, uh, university or from the industry, but must have a doctoral degree. Okay. Where the co SV has master degree in the field or he or she must have at least one year of experience in teaching and research. A core SV from the industry operation must have at least bachelor degree and at least five years of experience in the field at the level appropriate 
for the dissertation. Okay, supervisor should not be currently registered as postgraduate student at the university or as well. Please, uh, please remember, please take note this one. If you want to nominate your SV, ensure he or she is not a, an active student. Okay, if not, uh, it will be difficult. Okay, because sometimes uh, the SV uh, make a work like supervise the student, but at the end of the study, the supervisor cannot get the the what's that? Uh, meaning that uh, dapat nama lah daripada student tersebut. Kan nama, maksud credit for the student. Because at the end, they need to change this, uh, the SV because the status of the SB, SV is postgraduate student. Okay, the one or three con uh, issue has happened before this. So make sure about this condition. Okay, for doctoral degree supervisor, so uh, must appointed among UITM academic staff must have uh, this one must have doctoral degree with at least two years teaching experience and research and has supervised master or doctoral research candidate to completion okay deferred implementation till 31st of december 2023 so meaning that for this year okay from january to 31st december we allow uh, for phd uh, student to have supervisor who only have doctoral degree uh, without meaning that uh, after after this year the student uh, the supervisor need to have two years teaching experience uh, and have uh, master student okay master's uh, student research uh, complete Okay, to completion. Okay, only for this year, you can appoint supervisor uh, who have doctoral degree but don't have uh, any student graduate and uh, have less than two years experience, teaching experience. So only for this year. Okay, where supervisor has only a master degree and extensive experience in research is requ required with at least two years teaching experience and has supervised master or doctoral research candidate to completion subject to approval of university senate okay and the supervisor should not be currently registered as postgraduate student at an university or elsewhere for phd fast track okay the main sv must have supervised at least a doctoral research candidate to completion Okay, so for whoever who want to take a fast track PhD, so ensure your uh, your supervisor okay, or potential supervisor have uh, have doctoral sorry have student uh, doctoral student uh, candidate to completion. So for co SV can be appointed among UITM academic staff or other institution must have doctoral degree at least two years of experience in teaching and research where COSV has only master degree and extensive experience in research is required and subject to approval of the university senate okay and COSV from the industry or practitioner must have at least master degree and at least 10 years of experience in the field at level appropriate for this thesis Supervisor should not be currently registered as postgraduate student at the university or elsewhere. Okay. All right. So this one is a nomination of a uh, supervisor in uptrack. So this is the link for the uptrack. Okay. All right. This one, uh, four additional core SV, meaning that, okay, in here for first time registration of main SV, you can uh, nominate your main SV and your co SV. So in the UP tracks, if you did it uh, at the beginning, okay, meaning that this this form you you need to use this form if 
the status of your nomination uh, uh, supervisor or co-SV now in approve. Meaning that from the UP track, you like that, the status is approved. So meaning that you need to use this form if you want add more co-SV. Right? Uh, add more co-SV cannot be done uh, using UP track if the status is approved. Okay, this one's uh, UP tracks. Okay, you can go to this link. Uh, I will share with you all the uh, the what's that? The procedure how to nominate a supervisor uh, in UP track. Okay, so this one uh, defend research proposal, the timeline that we give for. Full time student six months master degree part time twelve months, uh, doctoral degree twelve months uh, for full time and part time is uh, eighteen months. This one is for DRP. Uh, remember eh, for DRP, okay, we go that way, right? Okay, so this is the RP result. After this, we we'll, we we'll go to the what's the requirement for you to sit for the RP. So this is the results. You have uh, five category: one, two, three, four, and five, and the marks given here, and the description, meaning that what you need to do after you get these marks or category. So category one accepted without amendments. Uh, not many students get that. K2 accepted with minimal amendments. Okay, the amendments must be verified by main, super, uh, main SV and submitted within two weeks. Okay, from the date of the RP. And category three accepted with minimal amendments, uh, submitted within one month after the date of the RP. Category four. Uh, student need to resubmit the amendment, amendment proposal and represent it to the DRP panels within two months from the date of DRP. And then last one, five rejected. Okay, student is required to submit and present a new proposal. Okay, usually uh, two and three, student get two and three uh, category. Okay, uh, Okay, students are given three chances to defend their research proposal. If you get five, category five, student who receive category four or five in the third DRP will be dismissed. Okay, meaning that for category four, you need to read the RP. Okay, uh, you can use uh, uh, your proposal, but with improvement. Okay, but for five, your proposal need to do a new proposal. Okay, uh, what uh, you need uh, before you take part in uh, defend a research proposal. First, you need to attend IGS research skills seminar. And then for PhD, you need to attend training in innovation, entrepreneurship, exploration. Uh, this one is for PhD. So my advice is for the first semester, Try to attend this seminar. Okay, IGS Research Skill Seminar. Okay, this one actually is good for you for this first semester. Okay, to to have the skill how to do the research, and then uh, training in innovation entrepreneurship is for PhD. So the aim for the the plan for first semester, my advice. Okay, to have to attend this seminar. Okay. And then a uh, consultation with supervisor. So you need to have regular meeting, draft the proposal, and submit documents via Google form. For DRP, uh, actually in charge by Dr. Shafi, there will be a lot, uh, there will be advertisement. Uh, so when we will do the DRP? Usually we have uh, a date, and then we will uh, collect all the students who want to do the DRP and then we will make the DRP maybe one or two days, okay? 
and each of student have their session. Okay, and then so so for the the RP you need to conf, uh, form confirmation for defend of research proposal. You need to show uh, include certificate of IGS and certificate of TIE two and research proposal and originality report using original less than 30%. And the RP slide presentation, the RP assessment via abstracts. Okay. All right. So that's for the RP. Okay. And the important thing is before you did your do your DRP, you need to nominate your SV. Sometimes uh student uh have all these uh, have attended the seminars and all the document completed but they do not nominate their sv in up tracks so that's uh, uh meaning that you cannot uh, sit for the rp if not if you not nominate your sv in up tracks okay meaning that your sv get the letter of appointment if your supervisor not get letter of appointment of supervisor so you cannot do your drp okay so this one is a progress report so progress reports is applicable to all active student okay um, must be compulsory must be compulsory to be submitted at the end of every semester please remember in your plan make in your plan that you need to submit at the end of semester progress report okay okay can be submitted by a supervisor or students okay different forms for master and doctoral students student must submit progress report form together with youtube link recording of progress presentation okay this progress report is very very important okay All right okay so we will update you about the date and reminder for the submission of progress report okay uh, so this one is a link to download progress report form uh, for master and phd okay and then we go to viva Viva Voce process. Okay. So before we have before Viva, during Viva, post Viva and Senate. Okay, this is the uh, the main thing about your 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 uh, master and doctoral uh, progress. Okay, for before Viva, you need to submit your intention to submit uh, to submit an OI notice of intention. And form nomination of examiners. Okay. When you done uh, NOI and examiners, you can submit your thesis. Okay. We set the VIVA date and we got the examiner reports. Okay. So during the VIVA, there will be chairperson, minute taker and VIVA results. And post VIVA, you need to do the correction, verification, uh, duration and thesis formatting. Done all that, we'll bring your name to the Senate meeting and you will get Senate letter saying that you complete your master or your PhD program. So intention to submit thesis. So this is uh, intention or in the form is NOI. So the students required to complete and submit a notice of intention three months before thesis submission. Okay, so three months before this is submission. Okay, meaning that you need to after you your you submit a notice of intention. Okay, we process it. Okay, and saying that yes, you can submit your thesis. So within three months, you need to submit your thesis. If not, uh, if you cannot submit your thesis after three months, okay. You need to uh, submit again your NOI only, notice of tension only, uh, when you want to submit your thesis. Okay? 
So second semi and abstract, not more than 400 words, including the full thesis title, name of the student and supervisor, attach the table of contents, attach the original originality report, must be less than 30%. Okay, all these documents to submit it together with notice of intention uh, have been mentioned in the form. Uh, form uh, in the form, uh, uh, it will state what's the document you need to submit. Okay, submit the final version of the thesis to COE uh, PG Research within three months from the date of notice of intention. The notice will be null and void if the full thesis is not submitted within the stipulated time. The student will then have to submit a new notice of intention to submit thesis to COE PG Research. Okay, well, this one about the NOI. Okay. Uh, this one is important, eh? appointment of examiners. Okay, because why? We try to avoid, uh, meaning that a few times you nominate examiners and then uh, the meeting reject the examiners. Okay, because for you uh, to submit, we will have about once a month uh, meeting. Okay, if this month your nomination of examiners rejected, you need to wait another uh, meeting, meaning that next month for the uh, meeting for the examiners. So meaning that try to make it uh, one times only, meaning that you, the nomination, okay, and then in the, uh, in the meeting, we accept the examiners and then you can proceed to another methods. Okay, so the function of examiner is to examine the thesis of a particular research student and to submit a written report to a university for master, one internal, and one external examiner. For PhD, one internal, one external, or one international examiner. Okay, maybe one of, uh, maybe your supervisor said he want to have an international examiner, it will be no problem. Okay. So the examiner is also expects to sit on the panel or examiners of the students viva voce or examination. Great care and this consideration must be taken in the selection of credible examiners of academic and professional repute. This is to avoid polarization in examiner reports, delay in return of examiner reports, non-production of reports, or dismissive and non-constructive report. Okay. So this one is a general criteria. Uh, okay. All right. One of these is, uh, I just read number D. Examiner should not be appointed to examine two or more theses of students under the same supervisor at one time. Okay. So meaning that sometimes your supervisor have uh, three students and, and they upon uh, the 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 point uh, one examiner for three of uh, his students or her student, so you cannot be like that. Okay. Uh, the examiner have supervised candidates at relevant level, so meaning that the the examiner cannot be have any relationship with the student. Okay. Examiners must be engaged in research and have produced credible publication. This one will look. Examiners from the industry can be exempted from requirements E and F. Okay. So this one is important. Eh? Okay. Internal examiner for the master degree. All right. Uh, okay. Field expert from the university who are appointed to examine and evaluate student thesis. Okay. Uh, if there is no qualified internal examiner, all examiner may come from other institution. Okay, B, internal examiner for master thesis must have experience in relevant field. So how we look that is from the Scopus hash index. This one for internal examiner, meaning that from uh, university, uh, uh, from UITM. So the Scopus hash index must be at this one. But for external examiner, same for A is similar, for B and Scopus hash index at least three. 
And then for external examiner, must have examined at least one master thesis. Okay. So, uh, meaning that when, uh, meaning that you can remind your SV actually to have a look at this one. Uh, master's thesis uh, for external must have evaluate uh, one master thesis at least. And the Scopus has index is at least three. Okay, for PhD, similar. Okay, but for internal examiner, must have, for A, it is similar, but for B, it must have examined at least one master thesis by research. Okay, and internal examiner of doctoral thesis must have experience in relevant field, experience in doctoral supervision. This is so important, uh, meaning that the uh, examiner need to supervise a doctoral student. And have as I mean at least one master thesis, Miller. Okay, and the scope shares index is at least three. This one is for internal, for UITM staff. For external examiner, is similar. B external examiner for doctoral thesis must have as I mean at least one doctoral thesis. Okay, and scope has index at least five. Okay, so you need. Uh, we will check. Uh, the hash index for the examiner nominated by uh, by you, okay? So either is uh, according to this regulation, okay? So appointment of examiners, this is the process. So for examiner nomination, we need uh, no uh, submitted together with notice of intention. So. Dalam, uh, in examiner nomination, it will be expertise. So this one, we have the form, like a short CV, all this a form. Okay, and notice of invitation also in one form. So all these two, you need to submit it together to us. And then we will process it in JAPIC, JKP, and JKIPA, and we'll notify to the student. When we notify it to student, meaning that your examiner have been approved, so you can submit your thesis. If not, you cannot submit your thesis. Okay? If uh, in the process saying that uh, your examiner nomination of examiner has been rejected, so meaning that you need to nominate a new one, another one. Okay? All right. So this one is thesis submission. Okay, process and procedure, this is submission form, original or originality report, soft copy thesis in PDF, uh, thesis submission fee, and proof of index, publication, master minimum one, PhD minimum two. Okay. Right, so this is the publication recommend. So please look the terms for master accepted. Okay, for master is accepted, meaning that you get the email or letter saying that your publication has been accepted, you can submit your thesis for master. But for PhD, you need to have one published as main author, uh, and then another one uh, we can accept uh, the publication has been accepted. Okay, so this is format you can download from uh, Ipsys website. All right, so okay, this is a process during the viva. Okay, the oral examination. Uh, uh, at this moment, we do uh, we did our viva online for master and PhD. Okay, uh, so this one I think. Uh, this slide, I will share this slide. You can, can look back this uh, viva process. Okay, so this is the report uh, during the viva. They will be accepted without correction. You will give two weeks. Okay. Uh, 2A or minor correction, one month. 2B minor correction, three months. Meaning that one month, you need to do your correction within one month or three months. Uh, uh, major correction, nine months for major correction, revival. 
uh, one year to resubmit and revive number five is faith okay inshallah if you follow or, or you work together with your sv okay this five you cannot see it okay it's impossible it's possible uh, but if you work together with your sv uh, this fail uh, you can avoid it inshallah okay and all right actually if you work uh, side by side with your sv you can aim for this one 2a 2b or one okay this one uh usually three or four this one if you work very far from your sv uh, the direction your sv direction and your direction very very far okay okay so for post viva the thesis correction is to be submitted within the stipulated time okay no correction minor 2a minor 2b okay the student will be dismissed d10 if failed to submit the thesis correction within the stipulated time but this one okay we we can make a buffer for for the student okay let's say uh if you got a minor 2b in that you need to submit within three months and suddenly due to some uh, problem you cannot submit within three months so please please uh, uh, contact with a pg office okay and uh, saying saying that what happened and here there we will uh, help you for the extension okay we, we we try our best to make extension uh if there's some problem uh during your correction okay and this one is digital thesis format checking uh so endorsement of result and convocation when you got your senate letter so upon receipt of final hardbound and digital copies of the thesis ipsis will present the student result to senate for approval and endorsement ipsis will inform the student when the result been officially endorsed by the senate information about the student convocation will be sent to the student by registrar office so the more the most imp, uh, the main the most important is the senate letter when you got your senate letter meaning that you have complete your program master or phd program okay uh this one is this is submission so all the submission will be in uh digital meaning that in soft copy in pdf okay all right and this one uh this is submit we will do format checking notification ipsis final thesis uh, submission okay update the senate list senate endorsement student completion letter thesis copy for library right and then you can plan your study to got this one apc excellent research award apc the student must complete their study within the got duration okay uh so all examiner anonymously agree that student have fulfilled category one and two okay if you get one or two uh, you can have the ambition for the apc okay the student have not been converted to any disciplinary act or has committed any wrongdoings okay the student has published research findings at least one journal index by scopus uh ws or my site as the main author within the study duration so this one you can plan maybe uh, for the first semester try to make a one paper okay and then student ha student has presented the research finding at least one in seminars or conferences or maybe in first semester go for the conference second semester have a one paper published okay and then for phd same you need to got okay the category is one and two for your result um uh, viva results and do not have converted any university disciplinary have two journals indexed by scopus ws or my site and presented two in seminars conferences 
Okay, so you have about uh, how many semester? Each semester. So each semester, you can go for your conference, uh, two semester for conference, two semester for publication. Okay, so where to download the forms? So mainly you can download all the forms from IPSIB's website. So <clears throat> now PD Office in the progress to make uh, like uh, link for form submission. Before this, we use email for uh, form submission. So the email uh, quite difficult for us. Sometimes we miss uh, the information. Sometimes students email or submit the form using uh, email. Sometimes we miss the email. Okay, so we try to use uh, Google form for form submission. Uh, so this is in progress. We will announce you later. So this one is the academic calendar. Okay, registration activities, uh, academic, okay, appeal, continuation. Okay. All right, and this one for fees, due date for fees. Okay, so this one already uh, mentioned by uh, Dr. Sheila, also this one. Okay, and this one. And that's all. Thank you. Okay. Is there any question? Okay, I do join this. Okay. All right. So that's all from me. Uh, I open to question. Sorry. For GREP, when uh, okay, we, I go to the uh, chat uh, for the uh, question. For GREP, when we we can start for apply, GREP is uh, Mara. I think it's Mara. You can go to the website for Mara. Uh, actually, I'm not sure when they open for the scholarship or loan for the study. But you can check uh, Mara website. Okay. So my phone number is how do I join this WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Okay. This one. Uh, we will take this one. Uh, to join the WhatsApp. Um, we will uh, give you the link for the WhatsApp. Okay. The DRP okay, Dr. Duration. Malik, that one clear. Dr. Malik, that one clear. The oh, one clear. Uh, Liu clear. Okay, then. Mm -mm. All right. Okay. So, the DRP duration for full-time and part-time master is the same. Or part-time has extension time. Yes, for part-time, they ha have uh, extension time for DRP. Okay. Uh, for uh, part-time master... Uh, after second semester and for part-time PhD, uh, third semester. You can do it in third semester. But be ready. Be ready. Uh, sometimes when uh, uh, the main purpose of DRP is that uh, we want to look your progress. Okay? Okay. Meaning that we have... Uh, Meaning that uh, we have like a prediction. After second semester, where is your progress? Okay. If your progress is, uh, meaning that uh, for one semester or second semester, your progress is not uh, clear, uh, please, uh, meaning that, uh, discuss with your supervisor. Meaning that for you to submit for DRP, please, discuss with your supervisor okay um, very very important for you to discuss with your supervisor and please accept their advice the supervisor advice 
sometimes a student uh, tend to ignore their supervisor advice and suddenly submitted for the RP and then got four or five um, uh, categories and then you will be uh, more down and then take a take a, a what decision to uh, uh, to what drop from the study okay please uh, take advice from your SV before you uh, submit for the RP okay recognition if my co SV is still not in list at UP tracks how to point manual by manual by form okay so first uh, first you need to look your main sv what is the status of your main sv either is endorsed or nominate okay if nominate only nominate okay or uh, nominate or agree you can use up tracks to nominate meaning that for your co sv but if in UP track your supervisor status is approved, you need to submit a form manually. Because for code SV, after we approve in the UP tracks, uh, IPSIS uh, only have uh, the what's that? Uh, the authority to add uh, code SV. Okay. Dr. Malik, let me just add yes. on yang ni eh, untuk yang Azrul eh. I think um, Azrul question if my co-supervisor not in the list for UP track. Okay, so I assume if your co-supervisor is not in the list, maybe your co-supervisor is from external institution. If your supervisor ex, uh, co-supervisor is from external institution and it is not in the list in the UP track, you need to add. Okay, so uh, you need to manually add it on the UP track. So you need to find, the, um, you need to uh, place in the name, the email and so on. And let us know because we need to approve it in the UP track. Then uh, after endorsement, then the name will be in the list. So other than that, so long your supervisors are um, in UITM, you should be able to find their name. But uh, in the UP track for College of Engineering, do not find under faculty or civil faculty. Do not find under faculty. Find them under um, College Pengajian Kejuruteraan. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether your uh, co-supervisor is from Cawangan or what. So long you find under College Pengajian Kejuruteraan, if they are under College of Engineering, then you should be able to find their name. Okay, so so long is under UITM, no, no matter Chawanga or what, the name must be in the uh, UP track unless you are appointing a co-supervisor from different organization from UITM. And um, if the external assignment not there, you need to nominate. Okay, and not by form, it is all by uh, in the UP track. So uh, what mentioned by Dr. Malik is where if you have addition. So once we have passed the first um, nomination and it has uh, gone through, if you want to have additional supervisor or if you want to change supervisor, yes, that will be done in the uh, through um, Google form. And uh, that will be endorsed by Ipsis. The changes will be done by Ipsis. Okay, um, um, that's all Dr. Malik. Okay. Right. Uh, the easiest way to find uh, uh, the uh, core SV is uh, using ID number, staff number, staff number of the supervisor, core SV or supervisor, and then uh, easy to you find the, the name. Okay. So we go go to the. May I know is it up to us to point core SV? Mm, I'm not sure about this uh, question. To appoint code SV, uh, you need to have uh, agreement with your main SV. Okay, usually uh, you need to discuss with your SV who you want, or usually code SV will have in their mind who will be your code SV. Okay, uh, but the process for the process uh, to appoint the code SV in UP tracks. Yes, a student need to do it. Okay, but to find the co-SV, 
better to discuss with your supervisor. And please discuss anything. Please discuss with your supervisor. Are we given workstation at college? Yes, we have uh, workstation at college. Uh, you can come to PG office and and we will try to give you the workstation the suitable uh, suitable sorry workstation is workstation is only pill please a table and a place okay okay uh computer not will be given only table and workplace okay can't find name of internet sv in up tracks let us say that uh you can use the id number uh, sorry staff number to find your uh, sv in up tracks okay dr malik i need to add yang hilmi you couldn't find your main sv because you're finding under faculty could you try electric hmm. um no more finding according to faculty find under college ke, uh, pengajian kejuteraan so do not find under faculty kimia ke mechanical no find your sv in up track using college pengajian kejuteraan there will be a huge list consisting of all the across the uh, uh um what do you call across the uh, college not under pengajian uh, not under faculty okay all right okay okay so okay thank you dr sheila and then uh, how can we know the schedule of igs and iet seminars so this one usually will be we we will uh, announce this in uh, whatsapp group or in telegram so like uh, dr sheila said before this you need although you are very busy to look your uh, uh what's that whatsapp and uh, tele telegram for the postgraduate please have a look because there will be uh announcement there okay replace question hi doctor how do i nominate my sv there is only view option okay this one uh, i will share uh, the step for uh, up track nomination in up track i will share in uh, uh, telegram and also in uh, whatsapp group uh, the step step by step how to do the nomination in up track for sv Okay, this one has been answered by Dr. Sheila. Can find intended main SV name. Okay, all right. Zaki, oh, okay, note. Okay, all right. It's, okay. It is compulsory to nominate co-SV. Okay, for master, okay, for master student, uh, it's not compulsory. Okay, but for PhD student, okay, you need to nominate main SV and co SV at the beginning. Meaning that uh, when you, because like you are a new student and then you want to nom nominate your main SV, for master student, you can nominate uh, your main SV only. So when we bring during the uh, meeting, yes, uh, we can accept it. Maybe after that, you want to nominate another co-SV, okay? But for PhD, at the beginning, you need to nominate two. One is your main SV, second is your co-SV. Uh, if not, uh, usually in the meeting, we will reject the, the nomination. Meaning that you need to find uh, two um, SV for the uh, PhD student. Okay, all right. I think there's no question. Is there any question? All right. I think there's no question. There's um, only maybe my advice for the journey of the master and PhD. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things you that you will be uh, facing during your master and PhD uh, journey. Okay, uh, different people have different journey. Sometimes we cannot uh, compare our journey with other people's. Uh, just uh, advice, there's one professor advised me during my PhD. 
he said that we need to for your phd it's like uh, uh tire car tire or lorry tire that we need to have pressure on the tire in the tire need to have pressure if uh, the tire is uh, the pressure in the tire is not enough okay in, in malay like uh pancit ataupun lembek kan so the car cannot move okay if it moves it's very slow if the pressure in the tire is very very low but if the uh, pressure in the tire is very high when you drive a car or truck uh, you will be like bumping okay so you will not comfort uh, during driving the car but just put a very nice pressure to your car and it will uh, drive or will bring you you can drive it very smoothly so like a phd and master program a master studies journey you need to put some pressure on you okay uh, not a lot of pressure if a lot of pressure will be it's not good for our health very low pressure you will not moving to, to anywhere but very very nice ngam ngam pressure so then you when you have a very nice pressure so you can move and uh, smoothly and you can take a lot of things to make it as a pressure for yourself okay maybe your scholarship you have about three years of scholarship this is your pressure if i cannot finish or complete my study within three years my scholarship will be uh, gone or not gone you need to finish so i need to take another money make a loan so this is the one as pressure okay uh, maybe you can make uh, one of one of the things make the pressure is usually or make use or uh, selalu selalu meet your supervisor although your supervisor is very busy make appointment with them uh, maybe in the beginning once a week so this actually this is pressure okay why because when we want to meet our supervisor we need to show progress okay so this okay this like this week uh friday i want to meet my supervisor so what i want to show to my supervisor so you need to make a progress so smoothly every week you have progress because um, for master and phd journey at the beginning we are very very high motivation but after certain time the motivation will low low and low so to keep the motivation high please always make meet your supervisor and make like kejar lah eh, your supervisor all right but kejar and show them your progress so that this is one of your pressure to show your supervisor that you have progress and you can also take a lot of things to make your uh, motivation high or make some pressure uh, on your work uh, like your family maybe some some have uh, uh, what's that uh, family married okay sometimes when doing phd there's a lot of thing need to sacrifice so that you need to make it very quickly so that this sacrifice will be babalu for your family all right so that's all for me okay uh i think that's all for me dr shila uh thank you dr mali um there's one question by hafiz here um probably i'll just quickly uh, address that so um is there a suggested study plan for us uh, what's the expectation for first and second sem um i think dr mali have mentioned just now basically for the first sem as um master's research or phd so the first thing you need to do is to address the compulsory courses so for masters you need to attend the igs so as mentioned by dr malik uh, the igs uh, announcement will be by ipsis and we will forward the message from ipsis into the um, group in telegram and also whatsapp so please keep in view of all the messages from us okay so the uh, opening is usually you know a couple of weeks into the semester so do that first that is compulsory and uh, for PhD, um, IJS, and also Thai. 
the entrepreneurship uh, course. So do that first. And usually for the um, first, uh, around the first six months for master's, you might be able to you um, complete or basically uh, go for your DRP. And for the first year, uh, P, uh, PhD. Okay, so one year will be PhD. So I guess the first um, kind of a plan will be strategically um, to how the layout of your study. Okay, so this one you need to have a detailed discussion with your supervisor what is expected from you. So because some supervisor would expect um, conference papers maybe in the first six months and a systematic literature review within a year. So um, the study plan is between you and your supervisor, but from the operational perspective of postgraduate, we will expect you to go through the milestone of compulsory courses, IGS and TAI for PhD, and also the DRP within uh, six months and also one year for PhD. Okay. All right. Uh, I Okay, so um, I think that's all. Um, clear? All right. Okay, so um, I think uh, that is all. Thank you very much to uh, Dr. Malik for the uh, briefing on the uh, research um, program. And um, uh, yes, of course, new student can uh, use UITM library. You can actually access uh, UITM library. Just show your digital ID. And uh, you can also access the uh, website. So we highly encourage you to go on to the uh, UITM website. Um, we have tons of materials there, journal, conference, which is really expensive in regards to the subscription. So this is where you will fully utilize whatever um, material. Okay, so... Um, that is one thing that uh, I okay I would highlight. Use the UITM library because it's so expensive. Okay, so this is where you can actually um, download all the uh, materials that you want. Okay, um, Cynthia, yes, you can appoint course supervisor from chemical, no problem. Okay, so um, your main will be from civil. Okay, can no problem. All right. Okay, so um, we have exceeded uh, fifteen minutes. I think it's um, a valuable 15 minutes. At least we have all things uh, cleared up. Um, thank you again for attending uh, this uh, briefing. And it's a very good turnout, actually, for uh, this semester. Well done, everyone. And uh, we um, wish you all the best in your studies. And you have, if you have any issues, just uh, come back to us easily. You know where you can find us. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Malik. Um, and this lama kembali eh daripada the kampung. Mm, so have a good right. weekend everyone. Bye. All right. Okay, thank you Dr. Shilawake. Thank, thank you. you